four in the morning You got me up all cause you need to talk To four in the evening Wanna break up, say that Good morning everybody, as you can see I've just got out of the shower just got dressed we are heading off so last couple of days if you've seen my other vlogs if you haven't i get definitely go check them out but we have been staying in exeter in just a little hotel um just for a couple of nights for my birthday so that's what we're doing but today we are checking out and we're gonna head back home so we've literally just packed up all the room just literally showered got dressed all that good stuff and then we're gonna go back to the car yeah yep. we had fun yeah it's been good been well good loads of cocktails too many cocktails, I say. <laughs> right, guys, let's go. Got the essentials. Oh, I'm hot. It's so hot. All right. Let's go, Jasper. <laughs> you got your mask? Yeah. Put it on. Right, so it's so bad weather today. We just walked back to the car. I mean, you wouldn't know that it's bad weather because my hair was wet anyway, but um, we're gonna head back home. And yeah, I'm glad that there's two days we were here, apart from that little walk that we went on yesterday. It's actually been all right weather, to be fair, so no, I'm quite happy about that. that. It's gonna take us like an hour or so to get back. Um, but yeah, I've had a nice time. I don't know how much I'll film today because I don't feel really, really get up too much, but this will be the start of my next vlog anyway. And actually, today we were tempted to go to Ikea on the way back, but I don't think <laughs> we will. Me. Yeah, no, I don't think I can be bothered, but we definitely will do an Ikea trip soon, so. That. We need to get some more like chest of drawers and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna go to IKEA in Exeter, but yeah, I can't really be bothered. I kind of really want to drink though. Yeah, I'm well really thirsty, and I'm a bit hungry as well. So hopefully we'll stop off somewhere on the way. Should we just see if there's anywhere? Bye. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we just pulled up to Tesco's. I am starving. Yeah, we're gonna get I'm something to eat. Thirsty. Hopefully, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, of everything I got in Tesco. So we got some Tesco's meal deals, obviously. Um, and we got jerk chicken wrap, lovely. A little chicken bacon and stuffing sandwich, looks so good. A little Snickers duo, some refrigerators, and innocent bolt of bolt from the blue. These are actually taste well good, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And then Jasper got this little cafe latte. There you go, Jasper. How about you not? Yeah, so that is everything we got. Let me know, actually, in the comments what your favourite thing from Tesco's Mildew is. Someone's going to say just how. Just how? Oh, no. Surely not. To be fair, it's actually quite nice. Though. You've had a just ham sandwich? Yeah, because when you used to go to college and you just buy like the sandwich and saying it was only like a quid or something. What? Just ham. I don't like mayonnaise or anything, so. Yeah, you don't actually. You're a bit strange. Between like year this. 7 and 11, all I had for lunch was plain ham sandwich. What, no, no butter, no. Mm. Oh. Mm. Butter ain't really class as filling, Jess. Might be for you. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, if someone asks you, like, what do you have in your sandwich? You're not just going to say just ham, you say ham and butter. Or maybe just ham don't have butter then. No, I don't think it does. I don't know. You enjoying that? Mm. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get going in a second, so. Ooh. Let me try some. Them ones are well bang. Oh, that's well nice. Mmm. Probably full of sugar. Yeah, but we don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, I don't know what the last thing I filmed was. I'm pretty sure it was probably like the Tesco's meal deal or something like that. I've acquired this spot on my lip, which is fabulous. But also, honestly, the nicest thing happened when me and Jasper was away. So my mum actually came into our house and tidied the whole house for us. Cleaned everywhere. Apparently it took us three hours to do, like proper like deep clean. Did all the skirting boards, everything like that. And it just looks so nice and clean because I'm not gonna lie, packing, everything like that. We it just like took us so long so we were intending to clean before we went but then my mum actually came in as like another extra birthday present just clean the whole house for us and i'm so grateful because it looks insane like it looks so nice and tidy like honestly she even like dusted the radiators off like everywhere it looks beautiful so thanks to my mum for doing that because honestly the house looks so done in um obviously we've kind of messed it a little bit up by unpacking all our stuff and everything like that but it's just so nice and clean like 
as you guys know i just love a clean house especially when i do like my speed clean with me and stuff like that so for my mom to come in and literally tidy and clean everywhere was so kind of her so thanks mom um so yeah honestly i've just been chilling in bed watching some youtube just was on cord it's just kind of like a chill evening and i am loving it going to cook some fajita pasta for dinner it's kind of like a fajita pasta bake i feel like i showed you guys in my other vlog it um but i think i'll show you the recipe and exactly how you make it because i'm pretty sure i just briefly um included it but yeah i think i'll show you that when we start cooking that for dinner but it's so simple so tasty especially if you like for like fajita seasoning um so yeah definitely recommend that one thought i'd update the vlog not much going on don't think much is going to go on for the next couple of days because we literally got a couple more days off work just chilling out and then obviously it's back to work for the fajita pasta i need one red onion one pepper literally of any kind and then just like how many chicken breasts uh, depends. Well, we just use two, don't we? Yeah. We're making more for like, like for lunch yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So we just got that's literally two chicken breasts in there. But that's so much chicken. No, to be fair, I think we eat like we probably eat more. Yeah. Than yeah. So anyway, two, two. Yeah. How much chicken you want? Really, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we put two in there. So that's what you start with. We have 250 grams of pasta in there, so I'm just gonna boil that up whilst the cooking, while the chicken is still cooking. So that's what we're gonna do next. Right, so really we've got half a sachet of this fajita mix from Aldi. Um, so that's what we're gonna pour in now. Just added some water because it's burning a little bit. It literally already looks like you've added seasoning. I know, it's, it's just, just burn. burn. <laughs> So now I've added in the seasoning, I feel like we might need to add a little bit more because I've just cooked up some peas. So I'm going to add the peas in. Because I feel like by the time we've added in the pasta, it might need a little bit more seasoning. So the chicken is all done with the veggies. Pasta's done. Literally just pour this in. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> And then I'm just also just going to add a little bit of tomato puree. Haven't done this before, but giving it a go this time. And now what we're going to do is just sprinkle some cheese all over the top. And then whack it under the grill to brown up. And then that is the pasta, the heater pasta done. Honestly, the easiest meal ever. And I'm obsessed, aren't you? Yeah, it's really So nice. good. Right guys, this is the pasta all done. Look how incredible it looks. It looks good, doesn't it, Jasper? Nah, a little bit done for me. What, too done? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I don't know, it tastes like bad cheese and it makes like some of the pasta go like hard. I love it when it's like crispy. That's well known to there. Yeah, I know. I feel like that's like for four people, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's what you always do. <laughs> I know. Four. Right guys, that is dinner. Are you impressed? <laughs> so we're just gonna eat this now, but I we've got so much left, literally half the pan. So that does make for four people. Maybe yeah, so if you put less eat, don't eat as much chicken and I'm No. Well. I feel like if you put less pasta though, it'd go like Yeah, there is a lot of pasta. There, yeah. So yeah, that's dinner. Good morning everybody, hope you are doing well. So today I wanted to continue on with the vlog. Now today I'm not really getting up to too much. I'm actually gonna go, I think I'm gonna go get a Starbucks with my mum, which would be really nice because I haven't seen her in a couple of days. So I think I'm gonna meet her at Starbucks for a quick coffee, which would be good. And also I need to do some tidying, I'm gonna go to the gym, just kind of like a standard day in the life. So I thought I would continue on this vlog um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So I have actually just showered. I plaited my hair last night, so hence why it's all a bit frizzy. Um, so I think literally in like half an hour or so, I'm gonna go meet my mum, which would be nice. I guarantee I will go for my classic caramel ice latte with soy milk, blonde roast, all that good stuff. I think a Starbucks coffee has to be my favourite coffee. There was this one coffee shop that we, me and Jasper used to go to when we lived in Bournemouth. And it was called Esquire's Coffee. And I think it was called Esquire's Coffee, yeah. And that was so nice. Like, I absolutely love the interior of those coffee shops. Like, it was just really nice. I'm pretty sure that has, like, a couple of um, coffee shops around the UK. But not, like, too many. Not compared to, like, Starbucks or Costa or stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. But, obviously, of course, I'll keep you guys updated as usual. <laughs> 
I have obviously been to Starbucks with mum and inserted a little clip from there. I didn't really film much because I was just hanging out with mum. Um, and now me and Jasper are going to go to the gym, get a little gym session. I really wanted to go to the gym with Jasper today because I wanted to do a back session. And I'm not going to lie, like I love going to the gym but I just don't enjoy the upper body section when I have to do it by myself. I literally love it when me and Jasper do it together. So that is what we're gonna do today, which will be fun. So I'll try and film some bits. The gym will probably be quite busy, but we'll see. And yeah, come back, make some it for tea. And yeah, it should be good. Your mess. I'm not tying up my mess. Cheeky of it. You right, Jasper, do you want to say hello to the vlog? Hello. Hello. Right, we're gonna go to the gym. Are you excited? No, I'm tired. Are you? I'm well tired, is it? Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, gotta go to the gym, do a back session. Oh, can you not? You're actually so annoying today. Oh, I'm ready to go, bro. Yeah, alright, let's go. just showered Jasper is currently playing cod so I thought I'd make a start on dinner so, so we just got some tortilla chips we've also got some mild salsa because I just don't like anything super spicy that's what we're going for I just want to see if there's one in the fridge already open yeah there is see how much of that one we can use up also gonna get some cheese if we have some yeah some cheese and also some sort of like meat or something so we have this little pack of sweet chili chicken my favorite is like obviously putting pulled pork or in tesco's you can get this pulled chicken it's unreal um so that would be the preference but that's what we've got in the fridge so that is literally as simple as we're gonna get with the dinner i think i'm also gonna make us like a fruit salad or something because it's not the healthiest dinner that's for sure no greens in that at all so yeah definitely gonna have some fruit for dessert or something like that but um yeah let's make that first right guys so this is what we do so we put like a little bit of salsa on a layer of nachos add some chicken sprinkle on a little bit of cheese and then literally just like layer it up and it is just amazing like i'm obsessed like this is something that I would used to hate like this would be something that I didn't like especially before I met Jasper but now I am obsessed also got this little bowl from Sainsbury's don't know if I showed you it before but I really really like it we got two of them and it's literally like the perfect pasta bowls love them right guys that is dinner all done oh it just looks so good so i'm gonna pop this in the microwave for a couple of minutes and it'll just like melt everything all together so yeah i'm gonna pop it in the microwave as soon as jasper oh drop my orange as soon as jasper is done on cord but i'm just gonna eat this as a little starter <laughs> and that is the nachos done are you impressed looks good on that and jasper's just currently cooking up some chicken for my lunch tomorrow thank you chicken looks good yeah it looks well nice chicken that'd be nice quite a lot there there's a huge frost. Mm. Just lit. Candles just was just going to give the nachos a little taste test. Mm. Good? It's nice for sweet chilli chicken. Mm. And then just lit all the candles up here which looks really cute. I'm very happy with the living room. Let's give it a taste test as well. Mmm. Good. Nice. Good morning everybody. So I'm just sat at my desk and I got a little delivery from the white company. Now I ordered some bits of the white company. All, not all the stuff that I ordered was in stock so I am expecting like another parcel in a couple of days. But I wanted to get some white company candles because um, I have seen so many people with the fireside candle and when we were actually in Exeter I did a little pop into the white company store. They didn't kind of have everything that I wanted so 
I managed to pick up this little um, collection of candles. Now, these are obviously like the smallest candles, but you get four different candles. And I just want to kind of find like what my favorite scent is. So I picked up this. And then I also picked up a bigger fireside candle with the fireside candles aren't in stock at the moment so yeah it looks so cute though i feel like this would be like the perfect christmas present i'm gonna open it up this was 40 pound so each candle was like 10 pound i'm gonna have a look at how small they are but i do believe these are like the smallest ones you can get and um, i thought it'd be the perfect way to just like try the different candles and i love my scents like i really like since having my own house i've really got into like air fresheners and all that sort of stuff it's so cute i absolutely love the box like how adorable is that with the little stars love that it just smells so good already oh my gosh you guys look how cute that is so we have got winter this is the one i actually smell in store and oh my gosh that just smells like christmas I love that one. Then we got Highland Escape. I think this was the one that Jasper really liked. So let's give that one a go. Yeah, it it kind of smells like a bit like a man. What does it tell you? Like what? It says like curling up beside a roaring log fire on a dark and frosted evening love that so yeah i think that was jasper's favorite midnight i don't think i smelt this one. Oh, that's quite like that's a bit more subtle than the other ones and then the last one we got is fir tree this is literally like the best way to test all the different candles oh i think that's my least favorite i don't know though it still smells it still smells really nice i love them all that's quite rare i think to like all the scents of the candles Oh, I'm so happy with that and then obviously I've got my fireside one on the way as well the house is just gonna smell incredible so yeah that was a nice package to get first thing in the morning um but I am sat here just doing some bits on my computer and I've just got such a chill day today not much is going on which is so nice I just love like having chill days just in the house I need to do some tidying but I think I'm gonna do like a clean with me or something soon so I've got so many nice scented um cleaning bits for like autumn and christmas which yeah i'm very excited to use so i think i'm gonna do like a clean with me so i probably won't do it today um but yeah i thought i'd just have like a chill day bring you guys along with me as usual and just let you know what i get up to i think i'm gonna make myself a coffee i've actually put the heating on today because it is quite cold and it's not it's weird though because our like little thermostat thing says it's like 19 degrees but I always say it's to Jasper, but I'm like, the air feels cold in the house. Like, it doesn't feel, like, cosy and warm. So, I put the heating on today. But the good thing is, is we've got, like, separate upstairs heating to downstairs. So, we can just put the heating on downstairs or we can just put the heating on upstairs, which is perfect. Because I always find that whenever you put the heating on, like, especially when I used to live at home, like, the upstairs would be boiling hot, but the downstairs would be so cold because, obviously, heat rises. So, yeah, that is one of the things that I love about this house is that you can do that. So, I've just got the heating on upstairs, which is fabulous. So, I'm going to make myself a coffee in a minute. Probably, like, a nice little caramel latte, which would be good. And, um, yeah, I'll let you know what I get to. Right guys, so you know I said I was going to show you what else I got up to during the day. That didn't happen. No. No, it did not. So I wanted to include that bit anyway because obviously I showed you obviously the white company candles and stuff. But honestly, the rest of the day I just chilled out. Didn't really feel anything else and kind of just enjoyed it to be honest. So yeah, that is actually the end of the vlog. I hope you guys don't mind. It is actually quite a long one anyway. It's already at like 18, 19 minutes. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I am just sat here actually. I've just lit my fig tree candle. I have to say I don't like this one as much as the winter one. Like the winter one is my absolute favourite. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you are having a lovely Sunday. And give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it does really support my channel. Also subscribe, all that good stuff. And I shall see you all again for another video on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.